production has kicked off and it's time to talk about our favorite shape changing green guy, Beast Boy. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Comic Book Nostalgia. I'm CB Nostalgia and today we're going to talk a little bit about Beast Boy on Titans. But first, I wanted to remind everybody, we're giving away this Volume 1 Omnibus of the boys. In order to get in on the giveaway, all you have to do is be a subscriber, hit like, and leave some sort of comment. Well, we're running a little late this week on our Titan series, and it's time to do another Season 3 character breakdown. This time, it's Beast Boy. After saving the day to kick off the last season, Gar pretty much took a back seat for the rest of Season 2. So we have to ask ourselves, are we going to see some big changes to Beast Boy coming in Season 3? Gar was key in helping Rachel defeat Trigon, and pretty much her inspiration. But for the rest of the season, Gar took a man-in-the-chair type role and was beat down constantly. He helped Jason find Dr. Light and Jason got captured, which ended with a ton of guilt for Gar. Then he took on taking care of Connor, which also did not pan out so great. Then, by the end of the season, he fell victim to Cadmus and their experiments. Now we know Season 2 is broken into two primary storylines, one being Blackfire and one being the Red Hood. So we have to ask ourselves where Gar is going to fit into this upcoming season. Garfield Logan is clearly a fan favorite, and I don't think the character is going anywhere, but there are a couple of areas I think the show is going to expand the character. I think from a character perspective, the big thing is going to be the trauma that Gar just went through, and the impact on his life going forward. Now I think the fact that Cadmus and LexCorp were directly involved in these events could tie him much closer to Connor Kent. The friendship with Superboy during Season 2 was pretty great, so I don't see any reason why they won't expand on that this upcoming season. Also consider his primary friend, Rachel, is basically no longer with the team. Now obviously she'll return, but this leaves Connor on his own and looking for a good friend. As far as I can tell, Gar is more than a good guy. He's almost the conscience of the team. And there's absolutely no doubt he's going to have a ton of PTSD from all the killings that Cadmus forced him to do. The extent of the impact of Cadmus on Gar is still completely unknown, but I think that may actually be something that's focused into somewhat of a positive for the character. That leads us to one of the big changes that I think is going to impact Gar for Season 3, and that's his shape-changing ability. Many of us fans want Beast Boy, and we're pretty much sick of Gar the Green Guy. And let's be real, the snake and a tiger are just not going to cut it anymore. I think this is one of those areas where moving over to HBO Max might be really good for Gar as a character. And we could see a little bit of an increase in that CGI budget, so hopefully more shapes for Gar. Now obviously there's a couple of ways they can go about this. I think one form we absolutely have to have is Gar's monkey or gorilla form, which is a staple for the comic. But there's also several other options that I don't think people are considering that wouldn't really cost the same amount of money. Wolves, cats, birds, and many other animals can be done, filtered to green, and brought to the screen for a significantly lower cost. Speaking of superpowers, have you ever considered developing some superhero skills of your own? All you really need is the right teacher, right? Well, and a free one would be the best. Well team, Sensei CB has the deal for you. Welcome to Skillshare. Need to develop your martial arts skills like Danny Rand? It's there. Refine your cybersecurity hacker skills like Barbara Gordon? That's there too. Develop just the right costume to inspire up fear in the hearts of villains? Ditto on that. All you have to do is click the link below and sign up for your two-week free trial of Skillshare. Not only can you develop some superhero skills, but you will have access to a vast library of classes ranging from cooking to meditation to web design, all from the comfort of your secret lair. Get your free two weeks today and start building the newer, more super you. One other aspect of Gar I would really like to see happen is for him to get an updated costume. We already know that Blackfire and Starfire are going to have updated costumes for Season 3. And I'm hearing Gar is going to get somewhat of an upgrade, but not a full comic book costume. Any improvement is good, but quite honestly, since he's been so under service so far, I would like to see Gar get a little bit of special treatment when it comes to any kind of costume upgrades for Season 3. Now, Garfield Logan is a huge part of the team in almost every modern incarnation, and he's been completely underutilized throughout this series. Now, just because the main plot lines this season don't focus on Gar doesn't mean Gar can't get the proper attention he needs. 
Ryan Potter has done a spectacular job as Garfield Logan, so hopefully this season we get a chance to see him shine as the character and maybe we get to see a lot more of the Beast side of the Beast Boy. For the next episode, I'm going to dive into who I think Gar's counterpart for Season 3 is going to be, and that's going to be Superboy, a.k.a. Connor Kent. But in the meantime, I want to know what you guys think. What part of Beast Boy do we need most explored in Season 3? And is there a particular animal form you think is a must-have for the upcoming season? Sound off in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you press like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates. Peace.